Welcome to our tutorial about importing audio files. Cubase lets you import files from your CDs or your hard drive in addition to recording your own new stuff. This is of course a very convenient way to share files between musicians who record in their own home studios, for example. You can import most of today's common audio formats like WAV files, Macintosh AIFF files, WMA files, those are Windows Media Audio files, and MP3s, for example. You can also import recycle files, and Cubase will recognize any tempo and pitch metadata usually associated with ACID loops. One way to import files is to drag them directly from your Windows Explorer folder or the Macintosh Finder onto a track. First, navigate to the folder where the track that you need is stored. Make sure your cursor is positioned where you want to drop the track. Drag and drop it onto the track. The Import Options dialog window opens. Check the Copy File to Working Directory box if it's not checked already. It's much easier to back up your work if you've got it all in one place. Plus, you may need to make changes to this file but want to keep the original file intact as is for use in some other project. Cubase won't move the original file, it would just reference its current location. Checking this option creates a copy in your current audio folder. Now keep your hard disk space capacity in mind. WAVE and AIFF files can get pretty big. And let's click OK. Cubase copies the file. It did copy it quickly because it was short. Let's position it on the active track by dragging it. Notice this pop-up display to the right of my cursor that helps me position the imported file where I need it to go. If you want the file to be on a new track, just drag the event down to the empty space below the last track in the project window. Cubase will automatically create a new audio track for it, renaming it with a default name. You can change that name, of course. You can also import files by selecting File, Import, Audio File. Now browse to the location of the file you want to import. Select the file. You can use the controls down below to audition the file if you need to. And press the Open button. Let's opt to copy the file to the working directory and click OK. Cubase needs a minute to copy my track. And it gets dropped on my first active track where I'd position the cursor. I can easily drag it to reposition it to a new track or elsewhere on any existing track. In our next tutorial, we're going to talk about how to import from an audio CD, which is a little bit different. And this concludes our tutorial about importing an audio file.